Hey guys, I'm going to do a, a voiceover because my TV was playing in the background and I don't want to get copyrighted or anything. I didn't turn it down. I don't know why, but it sounds like music's playing. It is low, but it sounds like music's playing. So I'm just going to do a voiceover so I don't get copyrighted. But this is how I clean my makeup brushes. I go in, I get it wet, I get it soapy, and then I'll let the water run over the brush and the soap as I'm scrubbing it on the soap. I really need to get a makeup pad cleaner. I don't know what you call it, but I, I got one. I just said I needed to get one, but I, just, I got one. I got one the other day. So, but I don't even know if guys, people watch this clean makeup cleaning brushes video anymore, but I did it thought it'd be fun to record like but the little war brushes don't take long to clean I just clean it real quick and it, it doesn't take long to clean them this is a real techniques brush I use it for under my eye eyeshadow this is my highlighting brush it's an equate Walmart brand highlighting brush it works really good so I just get it soapy, then I'll clean it in my hand sometimes, and I twist the brush to make sure all the water and soap is out because when you twist it, the soap will also come up and it won't dry if there's still soap in it. It doesn't dry as good. That's what I was explaining right there as I twist the brush. I think this is my other highlighting brush. Yeah, this is a wet and wild highlighting brush. See, I twist it to get to make sure all the soap and water's out. This right here, this brush is a profusion brush. These are really good brushes. This one has two sides. I try not to waste the water, guys, but it's kind of hard when you're trying to scrub brushes. When you're constantly scrubbing the brush, the water has to run. It's a pain to scrub the brush, turn the water on, scrub the brush, turn the water back on. But the way I do it, I try not to waste the water, like right here wasting water but I try not to this brush I just got this brush um, a couple weeks ago this is a LA color blending brush it's pretty good it doesn't blend like you like the other like a regular blending brush I think the bristles are too short to compact it together so I wouldn't use this as a blending brush maybe all over the lid or something but it was only like a dollar thirty nine dollar thirty eight like two bucks this is an equate brush that I was just cleaning that is also an equate brush this right here is a wet and wild brush. I use it for under my eyes for my powder. See, I'm telling you how dirty. It's not dirty how much makeup is in it. I'm showing you how much makeup is in it. My brush is needed to be clean. You know your brushes need to be clean when you start breaking out. That's when your brushes should have been cleaned a long time ago. I try to keep up with my brushes, but I'm only human. Sometimes you get too busy in life to clean makeup brushes. Now this right here is a wet and wild makeup brush this is a good blending brush unlike the LA color one that said it's a blending brush but I don't like it for a blending brush
this is my bronzer brush this brush is actually i got it from bells it came with a set it's a paris hilton brand paris hilton brushes i got a set i got this brush that i use for bronzer i got a highlighting fan brush with it and a um concealer brush but the concealer brush is more like a blending brush so that's what i use it for i mean they work pretty good this is a real techniques um, foundation brush this brush holds a lot of foundation Scrubbing, scrubbing, scrubbing. This brush is dirty. See, the foundation keeps coming out of it. And see, there's still more foundation. That's what I was showing you. more foundation I even cut out some of cleaning this brush that's how long it took me to clean this brush and I believe it's stained because I didn't get that out it didn't come out this right here is also an equate brush from Walmart this is a powder brush it it works pretty good I like it this brush came in a set it came with the powder brush and I want to say two eye brushes two eyeshadow brushes no, it came with one eyeshadow brush and that skinny clear brush I was just, um, the pointy one cleaning earlier. Came with that one, this, and then a, um, eyeshadow brush. This brush right here is also a set. It's a BH Cosmetic brush. This is, um, I think it's my blush brush, or is that my powder brush? I think it's my blush brush. Nope, nope, that's my powder brush. The set I got comes with, um, a powder brush, a foundation brush, like a kabuki brush, and some eyeshadow brushes. I think it came in a set of 10, I believe. This bronzing brush I got from Bells like two, almost three years ago. This holds a lot of product too. A lot of bronzer it holds. And it takes forever to dry. I have a fan in my room that I dry my brushes. I lay them in front of my fan and let them dry. And this one takes forever. To dry. Okay, yeah, so that first one, like this brush, was my powder brush. This is my, um, oh my god, I'm sorry. This is my blush brush. 
couldn't get the words out. That's, that's my blush brush. And then, um, the, um, foundation brush. That I'll, I think I'll be cleaning after this one. That's with the set. It's, a, it's like a kabuki brush. It's pretty good, too. Oh no, I didn't grab the foundation brush like that one. I grabbed the other foundation brush. This is a LA Color Flat Kabuki Brush foundation brush. It was like almost, it's like a $4 brush. And it works really good. And it also holds a lot of foundation. <laughs> But you see, I try to keep the brush in the water and clean it. Get it soapy. See how much foundation just came out of there? <laughs> scrub, scrub, scrub. Twist it, make sure all the soap is out. See LA Colors flat kabuki brush. Oh, still soap. I must have put more soap on there then. How clean. Okay, here's the other matching brushes to the other two. This is like a kabuki brush too. It's flat. Yeah, I'm showing you the other two brushes. See this brush right here I used with uh, a foundation from the Dollar Tree. I was trying it out. It wasn't even a foundation. It was like a BB cream. And it stained this brush. And it finally came out. I finally, it finally, after washing and washing it for months, it was stained with that, found, that BB cream. Needless to say, I do not use that BB cream from the Dollar Tree. I wouldn't recommend it. This is also a foundation brush, an e.l.f. foundation brush, a buffing brush they call it. This brush is actually pretty good too. Anybody that uses e.l.f. knows this brush is pretty good too. e.l.f. products. See, it's all wobbly. I try not to get the whole brush wet when I wash them. This brush right here I got from Wish about three or four years ago. About three years ago. I don't really use it that much. I use it for blush when I do use it. I mean, it works pretty good. a dollar for it okay 
this is my elf um what's it called total face sponge this took forever to clean i don't know why it took forever to clean this makeup sponge to get all this foundation out of it look at all that foundation <laughs> Still cleaning it. Took forever to get this um, face sponge clean. My back is starting to hurt me. That's why I'm leaning over. I think that, yep, this is the Wet and Wild Face Sponge. This one also did not want to come clean. I don't know why. Scrub, scrub, scrub. you guys like my video I'd appreciate it if you would like and subscribe to my channel it really would I'd really appreciate it yeah and I'm still gonna scrub this for a while <laughs> not a while but it still has foundation in it See where it doesn't want to come out. It doesn't want to come out for some reason. Still scrubbing it. I guess I should have cut more of this part out. took forever to clean those two makeup sponges. I hope you guys will subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And, uh, thanks for watching.